Hi, this is Dan Eason with EnergizeSeller.com. Today we're doing our lightning round 90 seconds with Kathy Passeret, a popular home stager in Mount Sinai, New York. Well, Kathy, let's get right to it. Please give us your wallpaper and painting home selling tips. Sure, Dan. I'm in the middle of selling my own home, and while I'm not seriously looking yet, I am checking out what's on the market. I am seeing a lot of red wolves. Uh, it, 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 they may give your dining room the dramatic look you were after, but a prospective buyer is seeing a lot of priming and painting going on here. When I see a room with red walls, I pass and move on to the next picture. Wallpaper, and particularly outdated wallpaper, is a personal choice. Just like how you decorated your house with pictures, artwork, and accessories, wallpaper is personal. Unfortunately, unlike those items, you're not taking it with you. Borders fall into the same category as wallpaper. Remove them. If you are looking to make the top or middle portion of your interesting, put molding up. It adds to the value of your home and will add that interest you're looking for. And finally, on faux painting, if it's done properly by a professional, faux painting can add a nice touch to a room. If the faux painting was done DIY and you just wanted to try it, it should be painted over. Okay. Well, good point, Kathy. How about a final thought? Well, as much as you may not want to do these things to prepare your home, a buyer is not going to want to do them either. Nobody wants to have to tackle repainting over a dark color or removing rooms filled with wallpaper. Make the time and effort to do these things prior to listing your home. It will make it more appealing to a larger number of prospective buyers. That's the goal, after all. All right. Well, thanks, Kathy. You did it. Thank you, Dan.